know, John, we talked about the opportunity here for the Yankees today and, and trying to finish off a sweep, something this team has struggled with at times this year. The importance of it now after regaining a little momentum with the Sunday night win against the Mets and then the first two against the Mariners. But Logan Gilbert, he wanted no part of that. Yeah, Logan Gilbert was dominant today, but this is going to be a disappointing flight to Houston because of all the things you just said, Ryan, and I think most important, Yankees had some momentum going, right? They had won three in a row. They had slugged the first game of the series. They won a bullpen game last night, and then they come back today and just couldn't get anything going against Logan Gilbert. You have to give him a ton of credit, and I will. He was dominant, but from a team perspective at this point in the year, you felt like the Yankees had to sweep this series series heading to Houston yeah one hit shut out from Gilbert and then the Mariners pen what did you see from Gilbert in those seven innings you know what and everything told us with all the stats and how much he throws his fastball over 60 percent of the time that he's a fastball pitcher that comes right at at oppo opponents and the Yankees he did that today mm -hmm. he stood out on that mound and said here's my best fastball he wasn't nibbling he didn't walk anybody and we kind of got into it during the game he really strides out there and makes that fastball look even better but if you're the Yankees you're going to be looking at video tonight tomorrow saying how did I not hit some of these fastballs it's straight as a string at 95 to 98 but he gets such great extension it plays a little higher you know Jordan Montgomery didn't get off to a good start today gave up the solo homer in the first the two run shot in the second but John you talked about the importance of him settling down especially with the state of the Yankees bullpen he did that ended up giving them six and two third innings of pretty quality pitching yeah I think Jordan Montgomery is going to be happy with this game as a whole obviously he's not going to be happy losing and taking the loss but if you think about that solo home run in the first and then a two-run shot in the second from Dylan Moore and Jordan Montgomery very easily this could have gotten away from him he settled down he had a big time breaking ball with two strikes to pick up a bunch of strikeouts and to your point Ryan saved the bullpen a little bit today I mean the, the Yankees have a huge series in Houston uh, coming up for the next couple of days their bullpen has been overworked lately so yes Jordan Montgomery didn't get the win the Yankees didn't get the win but Montgomery pits really well you know this series against Houston Houston, obviously one people have been looking forward to for a while now, thanks to what ended up coming out in 2019 about, about this Astros team. And John, this also feels like a big series just when you think about the Yankees and mentally heading into the All-Star break and, and what might end up happening as we get closer to the trade deadline with this group. I mean, this feels like a very big series coming up in Houston. Yeah, I agree with you, Ryan. And we talked about this road trip before the break and how important it was and it is. And you take two or three in Seattle, yeah, you would have loved to have had a sweep. But these next three games against one of the best teams in all of baseball who's been playing really well lately in their stadium before the All-Star break, you got to find a way to win a couple of games. I mean, you can't let the series get away from you. Then you go away for the All-Star break with some bad negative vibes, and they got to come back and try to regroup again.